I'll res continue. And we want this. I get my reference for what heroes we need. Put that over there and get my notes right there. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we are entering chapter three. And basically, you have two snakes you've been trying to breed for a while now, and they've someone just laid a clutch. Nice. You trying to get any specific morph? Okay. So we just started this chapter. And that means we got to find our new heroes and our new dungeons. Um, let's see what Lenneth's evaluation. All right, we're at 98. That is good. Um, we need to send up archers this round. I think I know one archer we will be getting, but I don't know if we'll be getting, like there's only two archers I can remember right now off the top of my head. And I don't know if we'll get both of them this chapter. If we do, probably send both up. Just because they'll be the only archers we got. Um, this is like one of the downsides of sending off Lelwyn so early. Um, is I think he can get enough hero value to be sent up here. But you don't really get a lot of archers. At least compared to normal melee. Let's see who is in stock for this chapter. Alright, this is a... I believe this is the guaranteed character for this it's chapter. Still a clutch if they get wide breath? I, I think so. I feel like clutch is the right term. All right, Camille Village. This is a special one where. Well, I won't spoil it. We'll get to it in a minute. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. I'm gonna see some familiar faces. Yeah, rainbow bows are quite pretty. All these people, statues strewn about the city. What manner of calamity could have befallen them? And hey, it's the two party members that we saw with Lawfer way back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean last week with uh, Chapter Lawfer. This is awful. This isn't at all like Ward said. This is tragic. A basilisk? A cockatrice? Or a gorgon? This seems a bit more than any of those beasts can handle. Only the people were petrified. Nothing else. There isn't a single person who hasn't been shattered. That's proof that whatever did this was no mere beast. And an intellect. Medusa. Probably. This is bad. Anyway, let's look for survivors. Stretch. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Right. It's always said that anyone left alive is worth 1,000 oath, the bastard. Well, I mean, something's been smashing the statues. They're using a sword as a deadbolt? Ah. 
display. Hey, can you read this writing? These are ancient runes. Goodness. They're carved at the entire length of the blade. Behold the grand sting forged from very brilliance of the blue sky. By its power, the absolute evil of these grounds is contained. Absolute evil? Ah shit, we just let it out! The Cenobites are attacking! Runes say, don't remove sword. Exactly, push crane. <laughs> it's a miracle! They left this one intact! Keshul, bring me the potion! So that's what happened. Huh? This kid released the evil. He's probably just playing around. Don't you think it's odd finding a little girl here? Anyway, there's no need to depetrify her right now. Can't stand to hear kids cry. I guess you're right. Maybe we should heal her once we're outside town. I plan to awaken that girl a hundred years hence. There's a reward for the releasing me. Wouldn't that have been pleasant? Spooky ghost. You bastard. Come on out and show your face. Vile creature. Does it please you to perform acts of good, shrouded in ill? Obscuring your true intentions only makes it that much more hateful. Oh, and Casual gets fucking schwacked. Ah! We get a nice little slow mo fall. The vial! I've got to protect it! The one potion to rule them. This is what is most important to you? I mean, in the moment. You're already dead. Uh, a Valkyrie? In the flesh, or I'm not sure. spirit? I was hmm. so obsessed with it. All I can say is, I guess it was. You but have earned the right to live. That potion was expensive, all right? To live? Yes, the right to life. I will make you a zombie. You will fight by my side. It didn't break. Another miracle? Cashel. See, you're not the only one who's sad. But you have to be strong. Cashel will only grieve if you cry. I don't know, that girl seems to be like the only survivor. I kinda like you, Cecil. Lawfer's gone. And now Cashel's gone. Poor Cecil. I wonder what else we'll see in her character arc. Alright, we got another character.
Hmm. Is this a caster? Minaya? Minaya? Oh. Yep, I think this is a cat. I'm pretty sure this is. I know who this is. What can one do when one loses what matters most? This is all I can do. Yeah, we are not. It's not looking like we're gonna get two archers this uh, this chapter. We're gonna have to make. Uh, sacrifices. Or, uh... Make compromises. Huh. So. Go back to High Lawn, baby! Nanami, are you feeling better? Yes. Thank you, Father. I'm unworthy of your concern. I'm glad you are well, Nanami. But please take it easy today. But I cannot. I must go to the shrine for the ascension ceremony. It is my duty, my destiny to inherit the power. This time, things will go smoothly. I will give you no further cause to worry, Honored Father. Hmm. Adopted daughter, trying to get power. Minai, please grant me strength. For the sake of your parents who raised me, I wish to prove myself worthy of the power that should rightfully have been yours. Ah, okay. So Minayo was their original daughter, I believe. Did Nanami, did Nanami go already? Yes. Why did you let her go? Surely you haven't forgotten what misfortune will befall her if she proceeds with the ascension ceremony? It'll be a disaster! A girl who is not of our blood cannot hope to ascend to such power! She may not be of our blood, but we've always thought of her as our real daughter. I know! And now we have to face the truth. It's just so cruel. I have the power! But is blood really that important? Yeah. What can one do when one loses what matters most? Hey! Welcome on in, Raiders! Orange Red. Orange Red. We are just getting into Valkyrie Profile today. It is a old Plus one JRPG that is dear to my heart. So if you've never heard of it, I hope you enjoy. Can't say I've heard of Song of Horror, but I don't know how long you were streaming. I'll be going for a while, so, you know, take an opportunity to leave a piss. Take a water. Probably not from the same place you just pissed, but... I'm not your keeper. We'll be going for a while. Welcome on by. Is that the sacred sword, Dragonbane? If you guys have just completed the game, it's so good. Interesting. I assume it's a horror game. But I certainly uh, can't say that I've heard of it. Hey, the ritual was a success. Nanami returned. Oh? Nanami! Or did she? What was that light? Ooh, spooky ghost! 
Minayo? Is that you, Minayo? Sorrowful spirit, death has brought you no peace, but with my hand... Please, stop. I cannot ignore this. If I do not intervene, her spirit will unleash great tragedy upon you. No, this ends now. Human, surely you do not intend to take her place. I really don't want to. I don't want to die. But... I thought my anger and sadness were greater than anyone else's. No, that's not it. It's that her anguish hurts me even more than it hurts her. Uh, a little bit too empathic, I think, Nanami. Truly. This is all that I can do. Then it is you I shall be seeing soon. Seeing soon? That's right. I had forgotten about your duty, noble Valkyrie. Ah! No! Ah! How dare you send me into the void and spin me? Thanks for the head bath, Pokemon. Lucky, lucky, no problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. I hope you have a good time with the snake clutch. Always oh, spin for you, ye adds extra force. Y you're not wrong, there I think. Is more than one path. Let us go. Yes. Nanami's story is a tragedy. Maybe she didn't fall in a great moment of martial sacrifice, but she still sacrificed herself for her, uh, the sister she never knew. All right, let's... I don't think we need to save yet. I think we have one more character we're going to find. And I think a dungeon. So this should be the dungeon. Very handful most consistent clutches are, though. Can't imagine if they kept, like, 58 viable, like, blood. Yeah, Redix lay way too many dang eggs for how big they get. Clockwork Mansion? Oh. Great. We're dealing with that today. Noted. Uh, alright, we got another dungeon. What else do we got? Or this is gonna be Cave of Oblivion. I think this is- oh no, this is gonna be- yeah, this is Cave of Oblivion. Never mind. Alright, let's go ahead and save, just in case I am miscounting. Don't want to waste any of our cycles. Do another round of spiritual concentration. Um... I think we have everyone. Wow, we have zero archers. Oof. That is going to be a bit rough for us to deal with. A million noodles of not years as well. Y yeah, yeah, that would be. All right, let's check out our party. So we've got uh, June and Yume from last time. We have Cashel and Nanami as our new characters. 
Uh, Cashel is going to, is a uh, same type as Arngrim, a heavy swordsman. So we are going to bring him in for some experience. Uh, Nanami is a caster. Let's see what spells she starts with. I think she starts with maybe a water. Oh, she starts with lightning bolt. Normalize fire of storm. Interesting. Um, let's teach her heal real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. And... I think Lightning Bolt is a single target ability. Um, it's not very good for comboing, and we got a lot of, of the spell books for Fire Lance and Firestorm. Let's go ahead and get her Fire Lance and have that be her ability. Or is it Firestorm? Uh, mm, Firestorm would give us Knock Up, which is really good opener for our combos. Let's actually give her Firestorm. That might be the way to go. We can change things up later. Um, this is going to be tough because we need... We want, we're not going to have any archers. So it's really just going to be people with a hero value of 50 with Fine Trap and Survival. Um, we had June last cycle, so we'll probably send him up. Which means we need to send up Yume, Nanami, or Cashel. Hmm... I want to send up one of our casters, I think. And if I'm gonna be honest, I like Yume better than Nanami. Because Yume is a mermaid and turns into a fish. I just think that's kind of cool. Alright, you gotta go eat something and do some work. That's no problem. Thanks for stopping on by, Orange One. I hope you have a great rest of your day. So, we are going to put... Hmm, I think we should give a little bit of starting XP, so they're not level 1. Because that can be rough for our characters. Just give them 2,000, and we'll give uh, Nanami 2,000. Divide. Alright, so we need to give them some initial skills, so... For a caster, we gotta give them weight reaction. And we are gonna want to make sure they have she has fine trap and survival, because those are the skills we need to make sure they have before sending them to Valhalla. Um, then we need to make sure their traits get above 65. So we need to get these numbers up. I think this might be the most efficient to start with. And then this one. And then... Let's see, two, four, seven. This is also a good efficiency. Alright. Might regret not investing in magic power since we need to use her in the party for a little bit. Um... If we are going to send June up, let's give him Fine Trap and Survival. We can really trick those out. Alright, let's get his attack power up because why not? And then Survival actually gives us a benefit by giving them more max HP. So we can max out Survival first and then find Trap. Um, Valkyrie is sitting at zero, so that's good. 
Um, you may. I think we were waiting on another level to continue maxing out first aid. Arngrim can get that. Cashel, uh, we will cycle him into the party, but we're not going to send him up this cycle. So let's just give him first aid one tick, and then we will give him attack power. We'll just start working on that. But I think once we get Nanami up to a decent level, we're going to swap her out for Cashel. And June, uh, by then June will probably be at a good level. We'll swap him out for someone else. Probably put Arngrim maybe back in the party. Uh, Yume, I think, is going to be our main caster at the moment. Um, so we want to keep that. Um, I'm tempted to send June up early just because our evaluation... We need to get our evaluation down, but I don't think that matters. I think that might matter for our... the next cycle. I might want to... I need to check my timings. There's, there's certainly a chapter where I want to send my characters up early before doing anything else. Because sending characters up increases your evaluation, and we need to get our evaluation down to a certain level at a certain point. I think a lot of that's going to start happening in Chapter 4 and 5. Those ones are going to be very, um, stressful. Uh, let's also make sure we get some new items for our characters. Um, let's see. We don't have a ton of materialization points. Oh man, this equipment is starting to be a very big jump in defense. So we'll get three, no, four of these heraldic garbs. Um, the helmet is honestly not that big of a deal. We'll just get a couple more silver salads. The tiaras are for casters. We'll just get a couple of the silver tiaras. Um, the cloak as well. Not too big of an upgrade in the armor department. Um, ooh, but we finally are start having to have some of these good rings. Um, we want our caster to have a fairy ring. We also want these... Power Bangle or Magic Bangle. These are very good. We'll get two Magic Bangles, and we'll get three... no. Yeah, we'll get three Power Bangles. Alright, so that should also be a very nice boost in um, damage for our characters, because it's a th basically 30% added to the, f the, the, the bottom um, grab a couple more Phoenix Downs, just in case. A couple more Elixirs, because why not? Um... Alright. Let's make sure our characters have their new equipment. Oh, I should've checked weapons. Silly, silly Drekkie. Um... Let's see... Polishmard. Interesting. That is twice as much damage, but it is very effective against lightning weakness enemies. What is our bow situation looking like? Ooh. Supreme crossbow, three attacks, holy damage. I think we'll grab one of these and actually give it to our Valkyrie. She can put that to use. Oh. Well, 
What's the difference between the Holy Prayer and the Crystal Wand? So this one costs 250, this one costs 2,500. I'm wondering if the Holy Prayer allows our casters to use great magic. Because right now we have elemental staves, which can allow them to use great magic, but they can break. I don't... Hmm. Crystal Wand seems better. I don't know what's going on there. Ooh, Elemental Edge. So even though the attack damage is lower than, say, the Striking Sword or this Zvi Hander, the fact that it is three attacks makes it much easier for us to build up our combo meter and unleash our limit break. So we're going to grab an Elemental Ed Heavy Blade. And let it get our character set up. So she's going to have that. Silver Salad. Heraldic Guard. We have the Extreme Guard, which is good for counterattacks. Let's give that to one of our Frontliners. We already have Silver Greaves. So Nanami. Give her the Crystal Wand. So Tiara, Silver Cloak. Uh, Greaves, and we'll give her the Magic Bangle. Also, we should give our Valkyrie the Power Bangle. Um, let's also give someone the Bracelet of Zoe. That does give them extra HP whenever they level up, so it is pretty nice. Um, actually, hold on. Nanami is going to be our weak caster. We want to give that to Yume. Let's give Nanami the Bracelet of Zoe. And Yume can have the Magic Bangle. Um, oh, increases CP by 100, but where's level? Ooh, oh, we should have been equipping our people with those Emerald Necklaces. Whoopsie doodle. Let's give uh, an Emerald Necklace to June and another one to Nanami. Um, actually, we'll, we'll give the Bracelet of Zoe to someone more permanent. Gosh dang it. Yeah, yeah. We'll give the Magic Bangle and Bracelet of Zoe to Yume. We'll probably have her for a while. Actually, what am I thinking? Valkyrie should have the Bracelet of Zoe for now. She is always going to be a permanent party member. It'd be nice to give her a little bit more HP, you know? Alright. Uh, June is going to be on the front lines. So we'll give him the Extreme Guard. And a Power Bangle. Power Bangle. Uh, Yume does need our new weapons. Silver Cloak. Nothing. Nope. Um, Fairy Earring. Magic Bangle. I do have two Magic Bangles. Alright. Go ahead and... Oop, we gotta rearrange our party. We got Valkyrie in the front right now. We need to get her off to the side. June is going to be taking our front lines for the moment. And we'll go ahead and save ourselves, just in case. Let's go into our first dungeon. Now, you might think our first dungeon would have been Clockwork Mansion, but we did see that area in Camille Village. And we can actually return to it. So let's double check and make sure there's no um, character interactions or pickups from the people. I think the inn is back. This is the private residence. 
Like this is is the little girl here? No. And then this leads to the world map. All right. So let's head to the back area. Few who survived here hiding in the church. Um, I don't see the little girl. Could have sworn she was here so we could interact. Ah, we do have Cashel's Blade, though. This is my sword. Did Cecilia do it? It appears so. Even if I carry this, I won't be punished. We have found the Vein Slayer. You know, considering we're going into this dungeon, maybe we should put Cashel into the party. Hmm. Let's see if we can swing it with t both new characters in the party. So if I take off the silver, silver... If I take these off... Um, and swap him for Cashel. So let's see, what is the Vein Slayer? Sword which cuts through flesh as well as warped spirits. Fortunately, it does have a chance of breaking, but it has bonus damage against darkness creatures. I'll keep it in mind. Raises special attack damage by 30%. I can't remember. I think special attack is our, uh, the combo maybe? Um, Emerald Necklace. Right. So let's try this out. And then let's go into the dungeon. Because that creature is still there unsealed. And it is a Valkyrie's duty to deal with such creatures. All right, we need to push this guy back a bit. All right. What kind of enemies we got in this dungeon, baby? All right, we got some normal lesser vampires. And now some night fiends. Okay. Um, I forgot to equip some of our characters with abilities. No, it's self directing We need to do that after this battle. Let's see how this works. Oh. Oh, she fucked up that zombie all right. Damn. Gosh, dang. All right. Uh, I don't know why I was worried at all. Our party is fucking these enemies up. And she gets one shot. I see. Man, uh, I forgot how good the Valkyrie bow attack was, so the first attack is a knockup. We kind of have too many knockups now. Unfortunately, I think because she had perished, our uh, Nanami did not get any experience. Let's go ahead and use a uh, Phoenix down. And Elixir. She does only have, like, 500 health. Um, but let's make sure our characters have their equipped abilities. Ah! Goober Worm. What are you doing, Snakes with Tapes? So we need to give her... Weight Reaction. And then we need to give... Cashel... First Aid. got back from work, now you gotta do chemistry homework. Well, best of luck with the chemistry. 
That stuff uh, confuses the heck out of me. To my side, my noble Einherjar. All right, so let's see if we can get rid of these night fiends first. Because uh, they seem to be doing a whole heck of a lot of damage. Uh oh. It seems he has survived. That is going to be a problem. Ah, stretch and hydrate. Fine. Now die. Now die. Oh, shites. Those guys hit very hard indeed. Our characters are going to need a lot more defense and health. Bloody hell. We may need to dip a little bit further into our uh, XP, event XP, just to get some of our new characters out of the squishy zone. What in the link sounds? Oh, hey, we got a zombie dragon. Now, we could fight this fairly, or we could give one of our characters the Dragon Slayer. I think we're gonna go with the Dragon Slayer. The Seduce? No, it's a zombie dragon! <laughs> what are you doing, Snakes with Tames? <laughs> to my side, my noble Einherjar. Don't do anything rash, my friends. Yeah. Ha! Um, our character did not attack. Why did he not attack? Okay, that works. I don't know why we couldn't get him in the combo. Seduce the dragon. No! I still wanted to fight! Thankfully, the dragon did give us a lot of experience. He gave us a bastard sword. <laughs> I guess we should have seduced it, because we ended up with a bastard either way. Huh? Switching back to that elemental edge. Um, you know, our... Hmm. I think we'll just deal with it. I kind of wanted to give the Bracelet of Zod anonymy, but like... If she dies, she dies. I need to give... Actually, there's no point. Let's wait another couple levels. We should be able to get her above the hero value, and then I can make sure she has a bit more offensive power, and or we swap her out. Jesus. <laughs> now, this dungeon is going to feature... Um... Some of the... Ah! It's got an interesting puzzle for us to deal with. Yep, we're frozen again. Yay. All right. Let's go ahead and take on this creature. Those little freezer beans are actually going to be very important. Just not in this area. Now die! Alright, I think that uh, lesser vampire is very D.E.D. -E dead. Oh, and he just... Nanami is not getting any luck. All you hear is Link noises. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to use an item to revive our character. Oh well. Cashel's a little bit weird with his heavy sword. Kind of takes a runner's stance.
All right, we need to use another Phoenix down. Nanami doing her best impression of a floor. Um, I think she's uh, got it, 10 out of 10. Ah! We got hit by a laser! We avoided the combat at the top of the ladder, but... Alright, let's try this again. Initiate battle. To my side, my noble Ein Uh-oh. We got another couple of those night fiends. Alright, let's try and get rid of this lesser not vampire first, maybe? Alright. So now that he's down, we can focus on getting rid of the night fiends. Alright, so that one's down. Hopefully we can kill this other one with just Nanami and Lenith. Uh-oh. Alright. I got worried there. Lenith's first attack, uh, the knock-up attack, missed. Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. Good stuff. We have no reason to remain here. So let us move on. But well, here's an enemy infested room. Time to get that experience points, baby. To my side, my noble Ein hey, All right, we got one night fiend. Look. We'll take care of that. <laughs> oh, and it dropped an item. Interesting. Now we just gotta take care of this necromancer. Now <laughs> Easy peasy. We don't really have good characters, it seems, for juggling. Like, Valkyrie can get the mid-air multi-hits, but it's really hard to get them in the right angle. Let's see, oh, it dropped a Falchion. I don't think we really need any weapons, but uh, at the worst, we can turn all of them into uh, Divine Points and use that to get other items. All right, we got three Lesser Vampires. Open us up with the Frigid Damsel! Just juggling stuff out of that lesser vampire like a pinata. Oh, they're finally going for Cashel. Oh, shit! He got F the heck up. All right, we knocked out a whole bunch of charge orbs. Not very useful. Uh, we're gonna need to use the beginning of next combat to heal. Ooh, a broken blade. Nice, nice. I'm holding on to all of our broken items until later. We could transform them into something quite useful. Um, all right, we got a bunch more good. vampires. Oh, Cashel is still, um, poisoned, it looks like. That's not great. That is, in fact, very bad. Now, the real nice thing about heal is it is percent health-based. does not depend on our magic power. So I can use our weak caster to cast heal. While leaving our powerful caster open to schwack our enemies. Ah, it barely survived. Well, it's down to half health. Oh, went for the Valkyrie, and now she's poisoned. Now die! Well, on the plus side, uh, knocking out all these charge orbs means our casters will pretty much always be Their able to cast spells released. every other turn. No reason to remain um, here. Hopefully we have a couple antidotes. Unless we can use... Right, we can't use it outside of combat. I would like 
to get that poison gone. We do not have antidotes. I see. That is unfortunate. Dodge the trap. Get the flare base lard. Let's take on this caster. To my side, my noble Einherion. All right. Hey, so let's try and have our characters heal up from the abnormal conditions. Huzzah! No longer poison. Alright, now we need to take care of the druid. Ah, we didn't get any XP crystals? Come on! We juggled her midair! Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. No reason to remain here. Alright, we've made it to the statue where the cutscene happened, but it seems the creature that was here has moved deeper within the dungeon. Alright, we need to get over one of the freezing statue pushers. Oh, an enemy hidden behind the foreground. To my side, my noble Einherion. Thankfully, we have a lot of these lesser vampires for our characters to wet their teeth against. Cashel, how do you keep missing that attack, my friend? You can't keep doing that. Hmm. You know, I think we'll switch off Firestorm for the other fire attack. Oh, she dodged it! Good job schmoovin', Nanami. Now die! Again! Dead and re-dead. Died on a fence. Dead fell off and who was left? Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Yeah, let's switch over her spell. Uh, I don't think we really need the knock of explosion. And Fire Lance does give us multi-hit, which may help us shake things loose. Um, let's do a bit of expenditure on the skill points. Uh, Cashel can get some more attack, which should help us meet some break points. Um... Go ahead and invest in his traits. No reason not to, because we are going to need to send him up eventually. Alright, so he Cashel should be good on that. Nanami, you need to still get above. Uh-oh. Alright. I was worried there for a minute that I wasn't going to be able to get her above uh, 65. 65 is our target. All right, so she's good on that. Get her first aid. Uh, let's start maxing out survival first. Uh, just because uh, she has very little HP, and survival gives a good chunk of experience. Or a good chunk of health. Like, look at that. She basically has 1,000 more max HP. Uh, pretty sure she'll still get one shot, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Um, for Valkyrie, we'll finish maxing out Fight. And... What else gives actual skill points? Formation, Avoid. Alright. And we'll work on Survival for her as well. Uh, we already have first aid set. Don't need that. I think there is an archer skill that is pretty situationally useful that we might set up. Alright, and then Yume. 
He's maxed out on magic power. He's maxed out on hero value. So we'll finish up maxing first aid. And then I think we will wait for spending any more on Yume. Get over here, Necromancer. Fight me. Fight me, you coward. Shit. They might get first round of attacks. Alright. Drow Shaman? Ooh. We might be in a bit of trouble. Oh no, I stupid. I knocked him out of daze. Okay, this is a problematic combat. I think I'm gonna have Yume cast an AoE spell, because that should finish off the Night Fiend and hopefully soften up the Drow Fiends. Um, so we want to do... Well, let's do Firestorm. Just blow everyone up. Oh, shit! She got the triple grill! Good job, Yume! I had drawn Daikyo. Terrible fortune. I probably should have healed first, then. Alright. The eye laser got me this time, but... We are going to start seeing our first, uh, crystal puzzle. Let's see if I got this right. Come on, buddy. There we go. The light bouncing off of our little crystals. Ooh, that druid. The game starts getting real tricksy on its enemy placement, putting them right outside transitioning doors, putting them on the other side of ladders. Uh, just real, real mean moves all around. Um, we are going to heal this. top everyone off. Okay, so that one's dead. Let's see if we can get rid of one or both Necromancers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're fucked. Whoa! It dodged both of my characters? Gosh dang. Well, try and dodge some birds, buddy. I don't think you can. Ooh, it dropped us some loot. Not bad, I guess. Of course, it was all thanks to me. <laughs> Dang it, Cashel. Oh, it dropped an icicle edge. Very nice. Would be pretty nice if we can knock loose some more of those spells from the casters. Just so we can make sure our people are well equipped. Um I think we can actually take on this zombie dragon without using the Dragon Slayer. Because it looked like our caster was chunking it. So I kind of want to do that because we get tons of experience. Oh, yeah. Um. Alright, so she kind of got fucked up a little bit from that Shadow Servant. But that's perfectly fine. Let's see if we can juggle a few more crystals out of this guy. So each crystal is like another 5% five, uh, 5 experience. Man, it is not liking Nanami. He's just taking all the hits with that Shadow Servant. Oof. He got whacked with that, uh, wormy zombie tentacle from the dragon. That's, uh, that's a bit disconcerting. Ooh! Ah, oh, we froze it, and then I broke the fro freeze. That's unfortunate. Alright, um, let's have Nanami do a bit of healing. Because all of our characters have taken some damage. And we'll try and knock out a bunch of charge crystals from this dragon. Get our casters locked and loaded. 
Have a bird. Zero damage. <laughs> Uh-oh. Inferno Breath. That didn't do much damage. Hmm, coffee? I need... Honestly, I need to go to the store and get some coffee and tea. You know, we've seen a lot of Frigid Damsel and the Fire Spell. I think I might switch Nanami back to her Lightning Bolt, just because, you know, we haven't seen that spell. All right, so let's do a bit of healing. We can't heal, I see. Both of our casters are on cooldown, right. All right, that's fine. We will just farm the heck out of these charge orbs. It does not do... Ah! Damn it. Okay, so I want to revive her because I really want to make sure she gets experience from this fight. Not magic. I want to use... Use item. Valkyrie. Union Plume. We have that going on. Um, and then we'll have her use heal because all of our characters are a little rough for wear. Then we just need our casters to come off cooldown to finish off this dragon. Now die! Now die! One damage. Ah, shit. It hit me with the Inferno Breath again. All right. Looks like Nanami's locked and loaded, so let's see if we can finish off this dragon. It shall be engraved upon your soul. See if we build up that combo counter. Oh yeah, look at all that zero damage. Oh yeah! We have the second level of Valkyrie Ultimate. Which is half the reason I wanted to switch her to that Supreme Bow. Gets a giant fuck off spear added to it. Surely you realize. Tenchu, punishment from the heavens. All right, that was not as much damage as I thought she was going to do. All right. Um. Well, I think we dropped the ball there. That was not the end I was hoping for. Hmm, Nanami is looking a little bit low. Alright, there we go. Yume with the assist. Oh, thank you for the boots and the head pats tapes. Heal my mana. <laughs> All right, now this is going to be a good oh, chunk of XP. Oh, yeah. 69. Nice. Necklace doll. That's concerning. Oh, oh that, was, that was kind of an annoying buzzing noise. Glad that's gone. What the heck is the necklace doll? A doll with its head completely smashed. Perhaps its owner suffered a similar fate. Um... Okay. I can turn it into a scout orb. Not sure what that is. Alright, so we got some treasure chests that are probably trapped. Not worth it. All right. Ah! Dragon, sl <laughs> dragon slayer hidden behind the zombie dragon. <laughs> oh, the irony. All right, I believe we came from above, so we need to head right. Let's take care of this druid? Necromancer? Yeah, there's going to be some necromancers. Um, I think... I think we'll take it easy after that dragon fight. We'll do a heal and then an AoE spell. Oh, I meant to switch her to lightning. That's right. Uh, 
Icicle Edge! Just fuck their shit up, fam. Oh, and it dropped an equipment. Probably going to be another Icicle Edge, which is nice. More spells is good. Because the spells can be transmuted into so many other spells. Ooh, a broken spear. That's very good. I'm holding on to our broken items until we get the uh, fully unlocked crafting. Because then we can make them into some very, very strong endgame items. As it always is in a JRPG, when you get that broken ore, you get that raw ore item, you get that broken blade, you know that's going to be used for some super secret awesome thing near the end of the game. So let's see. Nanami, let's give you Lightning Bolt. And uh, let's do a round of skill spending. Cashel has max attack power, max traits. And, uh, we're definitely not sending him up this round, so we can kind of hold on to stuff. Actually, we can, we can give him first aid. Make sure that's up to snuff. Um, Nanami. Uh, we can max out survival and find traps still. Try and get as much credit as we can, because we are not going to be sending archers up. Why do we have all of these traps in these chests? Who put them there? Alright, so I think that's it for this area. Now I think we need to head to the foreground. I got the wrong angle. Alright. I'm gonna move a little bit more to the right. There we go. So this is a complicated one. We need to bounce it a few times. We need to bring it all the way to this next wall. So there. Oh! I think we almost had it for a second. I flubbed it. I stepped on the ice. Dang it, Drecky. Alright, so if we put that there. Come on, buddy. Buddy. Oh! I miss. All right, hold on. Let's let's get rid of all of our crystals real quick. We need one there. It's a little hard to aim because the foreground also moves. All right, and then we do one here. too far back. Alright, so if I put it there... No! It's not far enough forward! Alright. We might have it. Come on, baby. No! Alright, we just need to slide this one back a bit. Alright, now it's not far enough forward. A little bit of preciseness. Are you kidding me? Alright, I know how to fix this. Damn it, I don't know how to fix this. 
Uh, let's try putting this one here. Dang it, Drecky. We almost had it. There we go. A little hard to do trigonometry with ice crystals and laser ice and just all sorts of bouncing around. <laughs> we got frozen, but we got the wall. We got ourselves another Zambi dragon. Let's show him what for. Lightning bolt! I hope that wasn't too strong. Fuck him up, buddy. Uh oh, we made it shall be engraved upon your soul. Divine assault. Gotta build up that combo meter. The bigger the combo meter, the more damage things do. So there is, a, even though Valkyrie's doing zero damage, it's all in service to building up our uh, actual damaging caster attacks. You still breathe? I'll take care of this. Uh, I think Cashel. Holy shit! Cashel builds the hell out of that combo meter. Hey, is this for real? Oh. Hey, we froze the dragon, so let's actually just kind of hang out for a second. Get some free healing. <laughs> Let all those combo meters time out. Oh no, why does it keep casting Shadow Servant against her? Is she like a... a, a uh, a violence magnet? Poor Nanami. Alright. Need a few more charge orbs so our casters are ready to go again. No, not the Inferno Breath! Alright, I guess I need to spend a round healing. I'm really hurting for... Actually... Eh, we can take another round of attacks just fine. There is an ability I'm still looking out for, which basically makes our characters uh, have a chance when they would die, they just don't. And I think at max level, it has a 25% chance of procking, which is kind of nice. Ooh, shake loose all them XP crystals, baby. All right, now we need to do a round of healing. Our characters are a little bit softened up. What? Ah, they're both on cooldown. All right. That should be enough charge orbs. As long as it doesn't do another Inferno Breath, we should be fine. Or actually, our casters can attack now and we'll just fuck this dragon up. Seven ways to Sunday. Purify complete. Well broken armor. Nice, nice. I think we almost have all, all the broken equipment for someone to equip. Um, I do need to remember to use heal at the start of the next battle. Because all of our characters are a bit softened up. All right, we need this ice statue bullshit to get out of the way. Huh. Take this! What do we got? Necromancer, Drow Shaman? Ah, we got the Drow Shaman one. All right, so we are going to heal with her and then go for the AoE attack to kill and or soften up these enemies. Uh, let's do Icicle Edge. Icicle Edge. I like that one. Make it rain, baby! Wow, that gas got fucked up. 
They don't really give you us a lot of XP, but, you know, an item ain't nothing I'm not going to shake a stick at. Oh, a Warhammer. Actually, we already have, like, three of those. Eh, I can just turn it into resource points. Ooh, we got to save. All right, so let's do another check with Nanami. Um, I think she might be ready to be sent up. Yep, she is ready to go. So we are actually going to take her out. Give her a normal ruby mace, a normal tiara, a normal cloak. We're going to remove her. Um, probably going to send June up. Let's get Arngrim back in. We haven't we haven't had Arngrim in the party for a while. He's kind of he's kind of lagging behind. Well, so let's give Arngrim a bit of love. Give him a nice new uh, two hand. Eh, I think it's two hand current two handed is actually not too bad. I mean, the only other option are weapons that break. And I'm not going to do that, so we'll just run with it. Really kind of frustrated we didn't get any of the, um... Any of the archers I thought we were going to get. Um... Very, very strange. Uh, poison damage minus 90%. Might as well. Don't really have a lot of options on stuff we can give our characters. Um, that's right. Cashel we're holding on to. He's been maxed out. Uh, oh. Probably should save. Um, all right, we're down to one caster again. That is unfortunate. Huh. Um, I'm actually wondering... I could exit, transfer my characters, and then come back into the dungeon. Downside, that will respawn enemies, but upside... It'll let us get our evaluation further down. Because uh, if we send two people up, that will get us to 100. And... It, actually, I think I think the addition from sending characters up happens at the end of the cycle. So I don't think, I don't think there's any, any point in doing that. Let's just continue on. There was an enemy in the foreground. You Suicide, sneaky bugger. No mercy. All right, so they're down. I'm gonna get rid of these assassins. Give me all your jewels. All right, it looks like they're going to get one round of attacks. <clears throat> that fool chose Arngrim. All right, we got an item. You know, I was hoping for more XP crystals, but, you know, you get, you get what you can. Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. Yeah, yeah, another Warhammer, another, like, Five DME. Uh, there's already another save point. That's kind of weird. Oh, we're right there at the boss. Okay. I thought we had a lot more of this dungeon. So you're still alive. I thought that woman destroyed you. I 
I cannot be defeated by a lowly mortal. Neither can I be defeated by a lowly goddess who relies upon the power of humans to fight for her. Why don't you try me? I believe I will. <laughs> I can take you. All right, Come fucking try it. Us. Greater demon. All right, um, I did want to give Cashel the Vein Slayer because it is his weapon, and I just think it's trop tropical. Topical. Uh, let's switch Arngrim to that Elemental Edge, and um, we're just gonna do a bit of softening up. Oh man, Arngrim got fucked up. They're skilled at dodging attacks, so they always counterattack. So either a magic attack, followed by a combo attack, or we take advantage of their poor accuracy. Wait for them to counter, and then strike. Very weird that this game is doing tutorials even this far in. That's okay. We have a magic attack to open up with. Nebulon Velesti! Spear to the face, demon! Surely you realize resistance is worthless. I'll take care of this. I why is Arngrim not in the combo? I wanted to finish the demon off with Cashel, just for Oh no! The Vein Slayer broke! Shice! Man, it's a 5% chance of breaking, and it broke. I cannot believe that bullshit. Cashel, your sword is kinda shit, my dude. You should have maybe uh, paid the blacksmith a bit more money, maybe reinforced it some more. That shit is broke and I guess uh, we need to buy another elemental edge. Poison blow. Nice. That's a pretty rare spell. Golden foul. Ooh, right. We definitely want to hang on to that. This one is kind of like the uh, Holy Grail in that we get stuff every round for holding on to it. Grand Sting. Now, this is a nice weapon. And we are holding on to that, all right. All right, we need to give Cashel a new weapon because he broke his damn sword. Um, let's give him the elemental. We'll give the Grand Sting to Arngrim. Blue flames flicker on and off on the blade of this enchanted greatsword, almost as if it is breathing. Yeah. Um, we're just going to be exiting the dungeon. Actually, they don't revive once we leave, so I do have to use a phoenix down. Dang it, Arngrim, why are you sleeping on the job, buddy? Let me go ahead and get another... I mean, I don't want to get another elemental edge just because... We're not going to be having multiple greatsword users elsewise. That's kind of the only time we're going to have a couple greatsword users in the same party. Alright, now I need to navigate my way out of the dungeon. Which I definitely know where to go for that. Uh, 
All right, so this is the stairs. Okay. And this was the triple bounce. So I think this next room has the moving statue. No. This room? Maybe not. So down to the right. Nope. I think I took a wrong turn, because I think to the left is where that zombie dragon was. Yep. Do I... is it... That I, I came from the left, I believe. No. You know what? I got to the other side, and that's really all that matters. Is there a chest hidden over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we go through here. I ran into another Freezy statue. Damn it, Drecky. Oh, come on. It didn't clip me at all. Bullshit hit detection. Hey, Index Page. Welcome on by. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. We are just... Getting cozy with some Valkyrie profile. We just finished our first dungeon. And if y'all don't know Index Page, well, y'all should fix that and check them out. Because they are a pretty darn great person. Alright. I have... We finished our first dungeon, so let me... Go ahead and get some more Phoenix Downs, because we're going to need those. Um, it's union Plumes, right? Yes. We need the Union Plumes. Let's get, let's get a 10-pack. Um, that was really expensive. I shouldn't have gotten 10. Damn it. All right. Let's go ahead and send up the people we're going to send up. So it was going to be Nanami. And June. But let me double check June. Make sure we have everything set up for him. Uh, survival and find a trap. Yep. He's good to go. Assuming he had enough uh, trait points. Yeah. Yeah, he's hero value. He's a, he's, a, he's a good enough dude. He's a bad enough hero. And go ahead and send him up. And our party is back down. Go ahead and save after doing that. 